Okay, hello YouTube. Thanks for watching. Edward here. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, how I'm making these graphics. All right, and I'm going to say yes, I'm using a free software. That's very true. Um, and um, the templates that I'm using are not free. Okay, but the software I'm using is free. Okay, but you can get free stuff. All right, and then you you will be able to use some of the stuff that uh, the templates that I recommend um, for free. But um, the content that I'm using personally is is paid because you get what you pay for. And if you're paying, if you want to pay for it, like I wanted to, um, obviously I'm going to use the paid stuff because that's what I'm getting access to. But that's up to you. Now, guys, before I get started, there's no guarantees that I'm going to be able to make this as easy as as you'd like it. All right. Um, is you know people ask me how am i making these graphics and i'm just i'm just going to show you okay all right and if 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 you uh if if it turns out this a bit difficult for you i can't help that but people ask so i'm i'm just making a tutorial so it's not necessarily going to be for everybody it's just going to be you know a tutorial that uh, i'm simply making because i was asked to do it simple as that some people are going to handle this i know for a fact because i've done a tutorial like this before and a lot of my followers actually i was surprised that a lot of people were 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 doing this and doing very well with it and making some really pretty impressive graphics themselves. So, you know, um, if you struggle with this, I'm sorry, but um, a lot of people are going to get a lot of value out of this, I know for sure. Now, the, the, the templates that I'm using, these are actually Photoshop documents, but you, you don't have to use Photoshop to do this, all right? So we are going to be downloading Photoshop um, documents, but you're going to be—I'm going to be showing you a free software that you can uh, use these documents with. And the software that I'm using is called PhotoP. Okay, it's a free soft, free web-based software, and you can access this on your Mac or your Windows. And uh, the link is in the in the um, in the uh, description below. So you get a blank canvas. You even get templates here as well that are free, 100% free. Um, that you can use and you can search for templates that you want and then you can download the uh, template well you can import the templates into your canvas and there's some pretty cool uh, stuff right there so even though you know even if i stop the video right now you've got some incredible value okay and some really stuff really easy stuff to work with um, but uh, the 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 site that i'm using um, is called photo p that's all right the, the site that i'm uh, downloading the documents uh, from freepick.com. Now you can get a lot of free stuff on this site, um, absolutely, PSD files and so on. But I'm using I'm using the uh, the paid um, I'm using the premium version of this. Okay, so I've I'm you know I've downloaded this one for example from freepick.com, and that's what you were seeing over here, right here. So yeah, um, this one was downloaded, and uh, I created this one out of that. Okay, and uh, let me just show another example just further down. I think I've done one there. For example, this one. Okay. Um, so this one I downloaded and uh, made this. Actually, this was a different version of this, actually. Um, I think there were a few options. You know, you've got, you got so many different templates uh, from this person. You can go to there, you know, th this is an artist that created the template. You can go here and you can select this this template. This artist is uh, his, his screen name is Design Art Paper or whatever. But um, he's got some good stuff here. Uh, there, oh, there, that's the one. Yeah, th this is the one I downloaded. Okay. And you can put your own picture in there. Now, you know, if, if you, I mean, Photop has a way of cutting out the background. Okay. So, um, you know, I was able to cut out the background quite easily with this one. Um, so, you know, you got some, you got some, you got a lot of different options here. Okay. So let me show you how I did this one, for example. Um, so, you know, I downloaded the, uh, the PSD file. Okay, so this is the one I selected. I opened up a photo P here. Uh, I open up the zip file. <clears throat> and then I just drag and drop the PSD file onto the canvas. And it loads. Sometimes you might need to find the font. Okay, you can download free fonts on the internet um, when you need it. Okay, 
So if the font looks a bit different when you mouse click in, into it, it means you haven't got the right font. But uh, you can you can find the font on the internet, usually for free. Um, but anyway, in order to get the picture out and change the picture here, you just select it here. And then over here, it says double click to edit. So you can double click over here. OK, and it gives you a guide. Select the top part there. And then, you know, I've got one here that I input, uh, created earlier. OK, and uh, I've already taken the background out. If you've, if you've got a green screen, that's ideal. I have a green screen. But if you don't, um, it doesn't matter because you can you can stand up against the uh, a wall. OK, that is, you know, in contrast with what you're wearing. So if you're wearing sort of black clothing, then you want to be stood up against a, maybe a white wall, something that's of contrast. So if you're, if you're wearing white clothing and you're standing against a white wall, it's not going to happen. You know, it, it's not going to detect. But um, I'm going to show you in a minute how you how you would take out the, the, uh, the background anyway. Um, but um, so now what you what you can do is you can make the ca the canvas here larger. So go to image and then canvas size. And I'm going to make this uh, like 4000 or whatever, just to be on the safe side. Um, and then make that bigger. That should be fine. I mean, you know, I'm I'm not going to spend too much time on it. And then select that and then save it. So I need to save this tab. Okay, and then go back here. And now I'm in there. That's fine. Go back to the tab and you now need to take out the the, uh, the template. Just just make it invisible and then just save it again. Okay, and then go back and that and that that's me in there. Now, you know, you can you can move things around a bit if you want to, just so that the text is not in the way or whatever. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something in the way there, you know, so you can you can have a, you know, you can get a screenshot or whatever. So I'm going to just drag and drop um, a screenshot that I took earlier. And then you can actually uh, put an element over the top of a surface so I can resize it. Now, if I if I hold down the command key, I don't know what it would be on the Windows, but on a Mac, it's a command key. And then you can just sort of do a kind of an, you know, change the uh, the element to a sort of different aspect ratio. Um, I, don't know, I think we call it free transform or something. You're basically transforming the image so it's uh, able to sort of sit on the uh, surface if the surface is not kind of like two-dimensionally sort of flat. And you're, you're kind of creating a three-dimensional... Um, you're, you're putting it onto a three-dimensional surface, so you need to change this. You, you need to change the form of it. Um, so that should work, and then I just save that. Go back here, and then it looks pretty good. All right, and um, change any of the text that you want. Um, Yeah, something like that. Um, <clears throat> now, if I want to transform something um, without, you know, so that I don't make it just just go larger. If if I just if I change the size, it's just going to get bigger, and I don't want that. So I can press Shift. And it makes it just stretches it out like this, and then that's fine. Um, you can change uh, other elements like this, like the comments and stuff. Um, and over here, you'll be able to find the uh, the text. So, for example, I don't know, just double click, and then you can change whatever. Um, <clears throat> change the text uh, that would be easy <clears throat> then you know if you want to do the background so you go down here and you find the background um, I think this is the image background down here not sure if you can see that I'm just gonna make this go up a bit now here's yeah this this is the background part of that now each element uh, template might be different 
So I'm going to just put in some, I've got something here that I want to put in earlier. Okay. So just resize all that, save it. Okay. And then that's now in the background. So you, you can see within minutes, I, I'm able to have quite a cool template, you know, going on here, whatever. Um, and you can, you can add more text in there. You can drag and drop more images, like put your logo on there, whatever. Um, it's up to you. Um, but, um, you know, it's pretty easy stuff, but, uh, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, that's, that's just to give you a quick idea of how I'm doing stuff. I, I said, I would, um, I think I said, I would, um, tell you how I'm taking out an, um, a background. Um, I haven't got anything to really show you as such. Okay. Let me try. Okay. So let me open up another fo uh, photo P window. So if I've got an image like this and I want to take out the background, okay, for example, so I've, I'm, I'm up against a wall. Uh, the contrast of the, of the colors are slight, uh, not too bad. The lighting could be better. But um, so if I select the image here and then I go to select and then I go to magic cut, Uh, it hasn't done a bad job. In fact, it's done a pretty good job. So what it does is it, 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 uh, I mean, obviously the, the better the light and, you know, if you yourself, uh, the colors that you're wearing and so on is in contrast to the backdrop. Okay. Then it's going to do a pretty good job. So I'm going to, you know, that, that doesn't even need any editing, um, because it automatically sort of recognizes the background, but in some cases it's not, not going to do a brilliant job. So what you do is you select the green paint here. And you put the and you paint uh, a little bit of the area in uh, of the foreground in 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 green, and um, it didn't need to do anything with the the face because it automatically detected it. You don't have to paint everything, okay? Just a little bit, just to show, okay? And then, as you can see, the background is the red. You know, when you when you, uh, just to show, just to give it give it the guide, um, you just put um, the paint around the background a little bit, just so that uh, it it can it can detect um, what the background, uh, where the background is. Uh, and then you can say, you can select a uh, new layer. Okay. And then click. Okay. So what it's done is it's now created a second layer. Um, so you, you know, that was, that was the original that, and now that's been taken out. So you can, um, so, so they're now, they're basically separate layers. Okay. So that, that's pretty cool. And you can either delete that or whatever, or just keep it as it is, you know, as long as it's hidden, you know, that's, that's probably what you want. And then you can, you know, maybe download, download this element. Okay. Go, go to here and then you can download it as a PNG it needs to be a PNG because that's keeping the, uh, the transparency. Okay. Just download that and it'll only download that, that uh, layer with the transparent background, go back to another tab, you know, or wh wherever you're editing or whatever. Okay. Let's go, go to here. Um, double click this. It's not loading. Oh, there it is. I'm going to, I'm just going to hide this, um, and then hide this. And then I'm going to drag and drop the image that I just created. I'm not sure if this is going to turn out any good at all because it, it's, uh, it's not really what I want. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to save that. <laughs> needs to go down a bit. <laughs> Not bad. Um, obviously it would be better to have more of my body, uh, in, in the, in the, in the picture, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, that's not bad. And if I want, I can, uh, select it and then go to image and um, transform and then flip. There it is. Save it. And now it's facing the other direction. That might be better. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, you, you've, you've seen me take out the background. You've, you, you, I'm, I've been able to use one software to do everything. Um, and we, you know, we get our templates from this uh, website, which is called freepick.com. Um, but you can get templates, you know, it's just PSD files. You can get templates from, from anywhere, but even PhotoP itself, 
um, has some pr pretty good templates of its own. Just go to go to here and uh, pick a template of your choice. If you're doing a social media ad or a YouTube video thumbnail or whatever, or a logo, uh, you can pick, you know, whatever you whatever you need. Some there's some pretty cool cool stuff. Um, I don't know, YouTube video thumbnail or whatever. And then you can uh, import it. Um, just select it and now the PSD file is being imported. And then, you know, you can change the uh, change the text. Something like that, I don't know. And then change the car, take the car out or whatever. Um, or just hide it and put something else in there. I don't know. <laughs> just put yourself in, uh, ch change this, take this out. Uh, do I have one of me? Yeah. <laughs> put me in there instead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's just to give you a quick example of, of some of the templates that are, that are available. Um, and you know you've got a drag and drop thing here, and it, and it's free. Okay, um, it's an alternative to Photoshop, uh, and it's a lot easier in my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Um, I know it's not going to be for everyone, but um, you know you, you can browse the uh, freepick.com and look for stuff. There's some good templates on here, but you know you're looking for PSD files basically. Um, and you know as you can see, there are quite a lot of good good things here. Um, on this website that you can, you know, download to your heart's content and uh, enjoy. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this uh, tutorial was useful and uh, see you in the next training. Bye for now.